Welcome back everybody to episode 387 of House Flipper. We are going to just head straight over. I think we were flipping the castle and we were starting on the upper floor and I had no idea what I was doing, which is pretty much par for the course. Let's grab this beastie. Where'd it go? There it is right in front of me. Heading over to the house. I love flowers. Unlike people. I know, Veronica, I know exactly how you feel. Stargazing. Tell you what though, at least, at least this place, oh, they are back, that rude little mole. I know, I saw it in the, um, in the entry, there was like a mole hill. there's no mole. You're always going to hate it when you find mole hills and no mole. It better not be a vampire mole, that's all I can say. Okay, that's the base of the tree. Cool. Well, these doors are really tall. Let me just see what sort of doors might fit here. I know, we might start from the bottom and work our way up. What do you reckon? <laughs> Two meters by... Okay, so these are the big the big doors. So you've got your Strigoi, which is what we're looking at. But you also have your Moroi. Your Moroi look pretty, I don't know, imposing. But they don't look vampire-y. And I don't know what colour I want to make them. I'm going to have to think about that. Okay. Oh man, this music is really, really getting to me. Right, this space is done. It's like one of the one of the things. I, I guess even with the um, the other house, you couldn't get rid of the music. Okay, so we're we're going for these because they're a lighter a lighter kind of light. Uh, I need a one meter by a one meter by two point seven five meter door. We we're going for lighter. So why don't we just go for lighter all the way through? I know that. Those wolves are really, really getting to me. Uh, there was no glass. Was there a glass version? No, there wasn't. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go for... Uh, I mean, that looks so forbidding, but let's have a look and just see what we've got. So we can go for cedar, which... Or is it American elm? Is what we're doing our, um, our things in. So you see, that's so much friendlier. And we can make it gold. And the ornament can be gold. There we go. All right, let's do that. Okay, but first we need to sell this. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I can't, I can't, man, no, not, not, not the hammer. What, what are you doing, builder? Right, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I can't put, yeah, you can't put those in there. All right, that's fine. We're just going to, just going to grab ourselves at a door and we're going to put it down here. There we go. Right. I'm inside with the doors barred. You know what we need? We need like garlic clumps that we can hang around in the house. We are selling these and we're going to put in elegant light switches because who doesn't like an elegant light switch when they can? And it was black and it was gold and it was grey. And it's going over here. Okay. Now, I tried, what, what I was trying to do was trying to get everything correct so that, um, yeah. You know what I, I'm thinking? I'm thinking. No, I'm not thinking. I don't know what I'm doing. I was thinking this might make a nice indoor dining, dining sitting room, is what I was thinking. 
Can I change these windows? No, but I can put I can put nice blinds on them. So we might do that too. Let's see if we can get some light coloured lines to work through curtains and blinds. I know that that music is just going up and down my spine like nobody's business. We were looking for American Elm if we could have it. All right, we're going to put in a few of them. I take it, yep. I know, I'm being really lazy. Uber, uber, uber lazy. Okay. We're going to sell this door just to give ourselves a bit of peace of mind. The last door we bought was... So this is a... It's a strigoi. No, 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 I bought a moroi, that's right. Uh, we're looking at... One, two, three... Okay, so we're looking at a one meter wide door. So we don't want any of the narrow ones. So it's one meter by two meters, not 2.75. So we want this one. Could go for the Moro single. Could go for the Spelko's glazed sliding. Which we couldn't do on the other side, that's right. Could go for the abstracto. I kind of like these doors to be honest. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we might do this. I don't know if it'll fit here though. We'll be able to pull it out of the wall. Oh, okay, no, no, you've got to be able to get rid of the cupboard that's... Let's try that again. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Why don't we go this way? So we're going for a slightly more open feel. Let me just make sure I... Yeah, I didn't get that right. Can I open? Yes, I can pick it up. Oh, thank goodness. That's so much nicer when you can do that. You don't just sell it. There we go. So it's nice to have these sliding doors in these spaces just because you can... Now it looks kind of like a prison. Never mind. Uh, maybe we can have some kind of curtain over it on this side. Uh, possibly. I mean, it'd be nice to actually have some drapes like this, wouldn't it? I know, it's really, really starting to get to me. Really starting to get to me. The music, the music, my friends. No, you can't put a curtain. Okay. I was thinking it'd just be nice to have a curtain on that part of the door. Alrighty, let's install these. I know. Let's just put these up and not install them. Yeah, I know. We're going to change the whole nature of the room. I wonder if I can do something with that piano to lighten it out. We could restore it. We could... Um, I'm not sure I like that, but anyway. No, 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 no hammers. What are you thinking? I know, this builder and their hammers. I know, it's just me hitting the right mouse button because I'm resting my hand too heavily on it. I mean, we could go with the dark. I suppose it's probably a dark, narrow. I don't think it's going to go. No, see, it's not going to. It's not going to go up up above any of these. Yeah, it's too. Maybe it's because it fits inside, and I've already put something inside it. Okay, fine. 
Alrighty, let's see. What are we going to put in here? Well, we're going to get rid of all this red that I painstakingly put through. We're going to change the we're going to change the sconces and the lighting. Let's do that first. Okay. I know now it's dark and I need my torch. We are going to move with all of these. And keep kind of like the the medieval aspect of it through. We're going to, but we're going to brighten everything up with a lighter coloured wood and the gold. So I'm going to actually put this in the center of the room. Well, I'm thinking though, maybe that's a bad idea. Might just move it to the center of these doors. No. I want it to be a little bit brighter everywhere. Everywhere needs to be brighter. Alright, and oops, then we need our sconces. So we go to our wall lamps, grab our sconces, our American elm, and our golden. We want to have one on either side of the door. Do the same out in here. Just make sure I don't put it somewhere the door needs to go. Ah, oh, yeah, that was the problem last time, wasn't it? There's a lot of timber in here and you'll notice some of our clients actually prefer timber to, to the other things. Uh, we will go back to that. So yeah, so we are going to be targeting clients we may not want by using this much timber. We need a light switch, so we'll grab one. But now this space is very brightly lit. Um, I just need to bring the, the, the lights down because it's really noticeable. That, that is too high. Oh, okay, it's that line. There. Here's this row of bricks here. All right, so I should have had everything up to this two rows of bricks above here? No. I know, sigh, it'll be fine. But those are where we where we had them, but these need to move. Right. I know I wasn't intending on doing the whole way, but we can. We'll do that as well. I'm just going to brighten. Like I said, we're going to brighten everything out. So now we've got this timber. I'm not, like I said, I'm not keen on this piano being dark. Let's just see if we can find a piano and maybe lighten the color. Where do I find it? It's in accessories already. Probably under hobby and music is what I'm thinking. Aha, uh -huh. and it's this one. Now, I can have, I can't have that nice light brown in that one. Okay. Sorry, the light, the, the timber that I'm looking for. And I don't really want this kind of piano. I wanted the other one. So, okay, we're just going to have to put up with that one. 
That's fine. All right, what have I got? We were doing lights and making this place a much nicer place to be. So let's head back over here, grab our wall lights, grab our elm, grab our gold and go a little bit nuts with this. I want to put a picture in here so we're, we're not going all the way. So that row there, these by the door. One in the center. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. There we are, about here. Those are deliberately lower, so I guess we're going to have to keep that height for in here. Yeah, they're creatures of the night that don't like this much light. Hopefully, she says. So, one, two, three, four, just under the fifth row. One, two, three, four. Just under. All right, so I want this place, like I said, really well lit. Now, the next thing I want is... I know I'm tempted to put a shelf here, but I mean, can you imagine what would happen if you knocked something off it? Yeah, look out down below. So maybe not. Although we could put one up here. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? Maybe one of those really nice wall shelves that they have in the, the living room that we were using when we were punking things up uh, because it kind of crossed over. So like this one. And we might go with a wooden shelf. Might go again with the golden and again with the American Elm. I will just put that. It's too wide. It's too wide. Oh no, it's not too wide. I just need to position it carefully. Yeah, okay, so no shelves in between the candles, but. Okay, I'm not sure I like that. What the idea was to give it space underneath. Maybe I just need to make it higher, because these are quite wide now that you look at them like that. Alright, what we need to do is we need to just grab this and move it out this way. And then we need to grab this, move it over, and then move it up as high as we can. Still in the ceiling, still in the ceiling, not in the ceiling. Alright, let's see how that goes. Yeah, see, that's just so impractical now because it's too high up. But the reason we, we've got it there is because we want to put in a... Um, I wanted one with the back. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and I'm looking for timber. So I need a timber ambro. No, okay, let's go to bedroom. What's it under? Are you sure it's under uh, dressing table sets? There we go. So you got these benches. Oh, oh, just like I said, I wanted one with the back. It doesn't look like I can get one in timber. Oh, what? Of course it's fuss, 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 man. Got to get it right. Hmm. Let's go, let's go living room and just have a look at our um, our sofas. Maybe there's a really narrow sofa we can use. I doubt it, but we can try. I, I vaguely remember um, this thing. So, but I don't think it's as narrow. Oh yeah, it is narrow. It's too long.
I'm just wondering if the Rosea armchair is, is as narrow as well. If there is one. No, okay, they're the round ones. So actually, they're quite pretty, aren't they? We could grab one of these. Ah, uh, pillows. I'm not sure I can get the right colour pillow. Probably that. That means this room is going to be very, very light. I don't know, somewhere, somewhere down there, there is a vampire rolling in their grave. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. All right, I wanted a really narrow, really narrow thing. Okay, so we can have timber or we can have a seat back. If we have a seat back, we're stuck with some really nice colors. Oh no, wait, I yeah okay i can have i can have timber why am i whining Shh, don't answer that all right okay now that's that's even better i thought this was the timber color you'll have to you know bear with me that's beige isn't it So I'm going for warm, warm colours for this room. That is what I was chasing. Okay, and then what I want is a really narrow table to go. So I need um, that little narrow end table. So we're going to here, we're going to tables, and the little narrow end table is this one. See? Just put that down for a minute. I'm not really fond of the idea of it sticking out like that. But I was thinking something like this. Yeah, no, I don't like that. That's okay. I'll put it over here. Because you've also got the windowsill that you can put things on. Except I, I don't think that suits it. It's too round. So what I need is a really narrow, tall, square end table. Or possibly a hackam, because I like those. <laughs> or something plain and simple, we could do this. It was, it was definitely just the shape. I'm going to put that here. And we're going to put this here. Now the reason this is okay here is simply because we're actually going to have bookshelves along here. I'm just going to probably have to shuffle with the, uh, the lamps. So it looks like it'll be low shelf, high shelf. Although I wanted to put paintings in too. I should probably do that before I go too much further. I know, I, I don't even know who I'm, who I'm, um, who I'm selling it to anymore. Wow. Well, I know. Don't don't ask me what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm I'm looking for warm colors like I may need to change that table.
and we definitely need to change the fireplace so that that's coming just give me a minute uh, we need another one of those so we're gonna we're gonna pigeon pair it there we go Get that light switch out of the way. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to just sell this fireplace. Oops, not quite what I intended. I was going to get the candles off at first. Alrighty. We need a, we need a nice fireplace. Where do I find them? Under decorations. Okay, we can do this. Okay, now we could make it Christmassy or I could just use an Ignis. Ignis looks really nice. That looks pretty too. I wonder how big this fireplace is. I actually like it in the current colours. She says changing it. This is what I wanted to see. So we're changing the back of the fireplace. I prefer that. No, that. That's the frame there. Yeah, I think we may have been better off with there, just to dull that out a little bit. Does it fit is the question. Let's pull it out of the wall. It looks like it would just fit. No, it won't just fit. It's just that little bit too big. All right, we will find another space for that. We will have our revenge. That's too big. Let's go down to the electric. That one. I like it. I mean, it looks better in that format than it did in the other one. That's quite an aggressive fireplace when you look at it. Let's have a quick look at this one. I was looking for the brown marble. I know, never happy. And gold in the metal. Oh, okay, that's way too small. All right, I may have to rethink my cabinets because I like this one. What did we do with it before we did a brown frame? No, wait, I think we ended up doing a cream frame, didn't we? Actually, we ended up doing it like this, but we changed that to yellow. And then the base we changed to that now I like that which means which means we're gonna to have to get rid of these which I like also but there's no space for them so we need cupboards like that but narrower 
we have a massive fireplace thing here. It's not quite centered. Which means these now just have to shift. Alrighty. Because it's such a it's got such an open space, it's actually gonna have to compensate at the other end. Let's go back to our furniture and our living room. So I liked that sideboard, but it's too big. Let's have a look at this one. I think this one may be too large as well, but it is narrower. Yeah, it's too tall. It does fit the space, however. All right, let's move this and we'll move this. No, it doesn't fit the space. It's too, it's too wide. Um, as you come in the door, you'll clean yourself up on it. So that can't happen. We could go with a wooden cabinet, but I wanted what I was after was a um, a low display case. Those things are huge. Those things are tiny, tiny, small. That's pretty. Don't know what I'll. Oh, it's not too tall. Okay. All right, let's back that up. It's lopsided. Uh, that one needs to come in just a tad. better but we'll see let's go into decorations and pictures and paintings so we've done these two long ones let's see if we've got a horizontal in the same style we have a horizontal in the same style we need to just make it a small one of these now it now it kind of reflects the um the fire yeah All right, we're going to put a couch along here. Um, that's okay. I just took me a little bit to work out what I needed to do. I had my room facing the other way. Well, it's not going to happen. So we're going to grab our furniture and our living room. We're going to grab sofas. Let's have the Kira light colored. We have the Lexington dark. Pretty sure the light colored corner is going to be too big and too wide. The cloth cover would have to be beige. because of the beige around the corner the legs could remain dark pillows need to be contrasting Believe it or not, uh, I need something kind of halfway between that really dark brown. That's so far it's the speckles. It's almost the lines. Sorry, almost the whatever that is, the dandelions. We could do that. That's actually really tempting to do. I like the fact we've got plain colored options, but none of them pick up the colors out of here. So maybe we do that. Or 
or that. No. All right, details can be in gold. So what I'm thinking is that having done all of that, that this is probably not what we're after. Uh, but let's pull it out. It was inside the wall. No, I know what it was. The paintings need to be lifted up just a little bit higher. Tiny, tiny bit. Just so that they're above the back of the couch. And I think we should be able to move this couch back a fraction. Now, the reason I've left that space there, apart from the fact it opens things out a little bit, Actually, that doesn't work because we've got the fire right here. Yeah, that makes no sense at all, does it really? All right, it was it was worth a shot. Um, I like the, the divider, but not if I have the fireplace in behind it. So we want the Marcus, but we want it as not a corner sofa. We'd go with the Rosea after all that. Because it is narrow and light, so basically you would use your base uh, as your beige, your pillows as your beige, your legs would be gold. Yep. It's too small. I mean, it is, it fits in the space beautifully, but it's just too tiny. And, and again, the other. I know I had a thought. All right, the piano is going. I know, sad, sad but true. No, I still don't like it. Alrighty, let's head into the living room and so far no corner module We've got these low, these lower, lower um, profile sofas. This might work a bit better though. The Nacia, the Crabia, the Magna, the Orc, the Ven, Camilla. So getting back into the into the much cheaper ranges. Is she finding the Juliet? Hmm. It's a lower profile sofa like we like we were thinking. Let's move it in along this way so you've got space for a um thing. It doesn't look as cozy though. And again, you've got that problem with the fireplace. Oh, mirror. 
All right, so maybe there's a similar sofa to the Juliet that she could put along the wall, like your elegant, maybe. Uh, yeah, okay, so that would keep it, that would keep it relatively open. I have again the problem that it's too short for what I was intending it for. Is it similar enough in style? No, it's not similar enough in style. That's that's a problem. All right. Well, if we're going to do it that way. I mean, you could put a darkish colored sofa in here because. Well, there's your Marcus light colored sofa. Ooh. I like it. It's overstuffed, but I like it. Um, all right, let's see if we can find a Marcus armchair to go with that. So what I'm thinking is you've got these. Just angle that in. These tables are wrong. I need something there, but that's not it. Uh, right. I was going to put a television in here somewhere, but maybe it's not that kind of room. So if we back this up, we can put a largish table right in the middle. Grab our tables. Uh, I know, I'm trying to tilt it inside the frame. We need an American elm finish on it. So this would be sort of the, the place that the living room you'd have in order to play games. I have actually forgotten to lighten up the floor in here. Uh, let's look at that. I think this will be too light to be honest but let's let's just see how it goes oh no okay that works I know I'm giving some vampire heart failure haha <laughs> bad vamp that really warms it up doesn't it just gives it that nice warm kind of feeling Wow, this is now a really bright kind of room. We need a rug. A rug that darkens it but keeps it light. So I know did, I, that made sense to me. I'm sure I'm sure you guys will understand it. Maybe. Uh, this has got the nice square swirly patterns and it does come in a yellow or a cream. It would probably have to be at least medium, but may need yeah, there we go. All right, that would be medium. Let's have a look at XL. That's better. It would it would have been even better if I diamond crossed it, maybe. Let's let's actually just have a quick look at how a diamond cross carpet in the same color would look. So we've got them. They're they're lurking uh, down here. 
somewhere there's the tread carpet there's our diamond cross carpet in the yellow I don't think this is going to work as well it picks up the pattern no I actually really prefer that that other one that we had a minute ago so we'll grab that instead there it is in the cream and we want it to be extra large okay it kind of dominates the room but yeah I think that's okay we go over here and we're gonna put a small one down in the corner maybe no see it's too long I don't want it protruding maybe actually we can hide it it'll be fine alrighty so now that we've got that sorted out we have to decide on tables and I'm actually thinking I'm going to change these trophy cabinets for something cozier and bigger that go most of the way up the wall so we're going to do that as well so let's let's go with I know that these were perfect but not quite what we we're after we're not after a sideboard really we could go with the Heckam. The Heckam would probably lighten things out. I'm just actually not sure that it would work. But, I mean, maybe. Maybe. So, what about... I oh, know I'm completely ignoring these guys. Uh, um, we could actually do that honeycomb pattern up the side. That'd be fun. What am I thinking? Oh, wait. Did we have a look at the Lexington? It wasn't what we wanted at the time, but maybe now we've changed our minds. Let's have a look. So if we walk it out. See, I think that might suit it better. I just may have to move these in over the... Okay, it might be too wide. I don't know. Let's see. It has to come to here. Why? Let me just put it down and see. Because it's a big fat cupboard, that's why. <laughs> All right, fine. That's not the cupboard for this space. Because it protrudes into the, into the walk area, basically, is my problem. back where it was okay so what we want is you know the only narrow cupboard I think that's going to fit this space all right I am I am tempted by these right which I mean they'd open the room out a little bit and you could have them running down to the floor but they're more decorative than anything so I'm not not really keen on them oh huh. Kitchen, dining room, it's in the corridor. No. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's living room and shelves, and we're probably looking at a Mary display cabinet, maybe. Let's dip on down. It's either that or it's a limb. Is that your bistro? There's your showcase, Mary. It's similar in style to what I was looking at before okay and it's short ah huh. and it fits which is nice so we could put two of these in let's just drop that in over here and actually I'm thinking if we tucked it into the corner like we had them before yeah then you can move these a little bit more away from the fire center them over the space back a little bit alrighty uh, you could then grab this one I know it's still out of place isn't it that's not a good spot for it either I don't think we need it in here we'll, uh, we'll just smack it out over there there we go alright now we're getting somewhere we have like a, a cozy kind of room. I need something on the walls over here. It, uh, 
probably shelves but it could also be a picture I mean we don't have any shelves in here well not really um, right coffee tables was the go we were having a look at our tables in our living room so tables wise we had a Lexington coffee table and it was huge now I'm thinking the grace might I mean these things are a bit big too but I mean they fit perfectly here I mean we could put a bookcase in this space as well I know right we just chuck that over there for the minute let's grab a, um, a limb because the limb is tall and slim a tall slim limb there you go let's find it here we are tall and slim I'm not sure it's going to come in oh no it does and actually it might suit the room quite nicely let's just pop it over here it out of the wall so the, the limb bookcase is something you can find in the very early like it's it's in the base game all right which means I now need something over here and and I was thinking a picture but we can be just as decorative uh, with these shelves so we have these long shelves just have to go down a little bit further to find them okay they're a little bit too long and you'd bang your head on it I was thinking of like putting it there but I'm just thinking if you're going to bang your head on it that might not be the best option so let's um, maybe put a painting up there instead something along these lines but much much smaller and wide I think we may not have that in paintings we may need Ooh, we might they don't come in no okay, they're a bit blue yeah it it's not bad I just want the light colored background I know I want what I want <laughs> uh, those are huge that's very pink this is kind of used to be my go-to for like warmish colored paintings to fit in spaces actually that does kind of fit we might just pop that one in there so you've got your landscape on one side of the room and these big abstracts on the other I know it's in my way but 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 why don't we look for some of the really small see I think no I need um I know I need tiny paintings now I like the bird one but that's not going to fit where I want it so I need landscapes and I need them to be probably in ooh, in photos um I need them to be warm and I need them to be framed if I can get them so that probably means 
uh, some of these old, uh, here we go, some of these old ones down here. Can I lighten out the frame notes? So the frames I'm going to have to be, uh, are going to be dark frames, not, I can't lighten them out to match the other frames. I don't think. No, they're, they're all pretty much. These are the very early paintings, the ones that, that, that first came with the game. What they have done for us, though, is they've actually made it so we can, um, so we can make them bigger or smaller, as the case may be. So if I was to get this, for instance, it's tiny at first, although in this case it's, it's pretty much what I'm looking for. Um, let me just go back. So you can make it large. Uh, maybe medium would be better. What I'm thinking is something kind of like this, and then, I mean I don't think a horizontal one's going to work in this space, especially if I make it medium instead of small. I know it, it may go yet. No, no, that's... Yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> what? Uh, what did that ever do to you? Well, to end the way, paintings, let's go. And I'm after a landscape if I can get it. That might do though. Oh my goodness. All right, I need I need smaller smaller paintings. I know I just horrified myself. They're beautiful, but they they're not the right size. But I'm going to assume this is going to be too big as well. That did not look like a fun kiss. Hey, are you sure that even on its smallest weight? I would like to have some wood on either side, uh, some brickwork on either side of it. It's, it's one of the reasons I'm being fussy. This one actually does strike me as fitting. Uh, I just need to get it to about the right size. Maybe large? Because it's got the right kind of paint appeal. I know I, what I'm, I'm fussing over the fact that there's no light. Let me just grab this and put it. Here, so basically. I know, sorry, thinking.
That's a small cabinet, right? What I want is a small hanging thing like that. Maybe I need to grab some other... No, not out of the kitchens. That would be bad. I mean, we could go with this again. And just go with our... And again, I have that same problem that I had um, before, which is what happens if something falls off the edge that actually looks a little too crowded. That's just... Oh no, too bad, too crowded. Make up your mind. Oh, okay. Maybe I need this. I need to put three in. It's like a, a rule of threes. But I just wanted something simple. So well now what we're going to do is we're going to try and centre them in that space on the side of the window so that they look kind of balanced. Which means I've got to get the spacing between them right or it's not going to work. See, now that's too low. I know, and the spacing is not even. All right. That's as even as I can make it. Uh, we still need something really small here. The only thing I can think that's going to fit in that space is a dulce wood table. I think the, even the coffee table bin is going to be too big. But we'll give it a shot. Oh no, wait. Alright, that works. Which means I now want to put something on these shelves. So we're going to go with decorations. We're going to go with plants. We're going to go with small plants. Brain is going in two places at once. Pop on yellow. Uh, now I need something as delicate uh, to go above and below it. I wasn't going to put two plants of the same kind in there, but actually I like that, that blend. Alrighty. Okay, so to get stuff on the top shelf, we are going to have to be able to see the top shelf. And I had myself positioned perfectly a minute ago. I just don't remember what I was do doing. All right, now I can see this the top shelf. Let us grab our accessories and our hobby and I'm thinking we might just put a couple of rows of books in here. I like the artistically challenged ones. All right, we're going to try and slide them all the way over there. And we'll put a second set here. Okay. 
actually you know what we might just give them all books there we go and then I'll just put this chair back where it belongs uh, the reason there's a walk space in here is because I want people to be able to look down on what's going on out there all right that now looks like a much cozier space we still need a lamp of some kind here um and what makes me sad is I can't get this in a single like maybe like a tall wooden block with that standing on top all I can get is in this one I don't think it looks quite right but it might yes it's too much for the table all right maybe we're not going to do lamps then let's uh let's think of something else possible we need a um a decoration of some kind all right so a plant on this one it's small uh, I need something kind of square but actually that is kind of square and compact isn't it yes and then over here we want uh, a statue of some kind so we'll grab standing decorations the lion is definitely too big even the mini one I mean, I'm going to look at it anyway. You know, he kind of looks like he belongs there, doesn't he? All right, well, he stays. And I'm almost thinking we're going to need to continue that theme now around the room. Okay. You think, are we done yet, guys? I think we might be done with this room. So on that note, we, we're done with this room. I, I didn't think it would take this long, but it has. And I think I'll call the episode here. And next episode, we're going to finish that hallway. And actually, we might go downstairs and do the dining room, living room. I'll just take off my flashlight for these shots. All right, I might go repeat that one now. Yeah, there we are. So, and this is pretty much, just come out from the back here. How this lounge room looks. Actually, I'm, I'm all right. It looks a little bare above the fireplace now I think about it, but I won't go in and um, deal with it. We'll just grab this so we can see there's a little nook. So what I'm doing is just brightening up the entire place, whether or not it wishes to be made brighter. But we're keeping some of the old castleness about it. Alrighty. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.